first off, let me say, um, thank you to everyone who's been watching these videos. Thank you to, for those who leave comments, who reblog it, who share their opinions, who debate with me. I really do appreciate the input. I love these talks, and it's really helping me feel better. So, for today's video, I thought I'd answer a question that someone left for me on my Tumblr. And I will take questions as long as it's Disney related, so, here we go. Um, I've mentioned a few times that I do fanfics. And mostly these days, I do fanfics based on Nikki and Minnie. Which at first could sound immature, but what do I care? Um, I've been doing fanfic for as long as I knew it existed, basically. Um, I love to write, I love to create worlds and universes, and make funny situations, and have romantic situations, and dramatic situations, and it's just a great outlook for me. I've been, probably my first uh, genre was, uh, Son of the Hedgehog, with tons of horrible OCs, like, so embarrassing. Oh god, just remembering it now is such pain. Um, my first foray into the Disney writing fandom was several years ago, probably even before high school. My first attempt was after I'd read this, um, book about King Arthur. And I wanted to see if I could do a version with Mickey Mouse and the gang. It was at this time I was really embracing my love for Disney. Um, I called it Hero's Blade. And Mickey was the squire to Prince Pete. And they had to journey to get Excalibur, picking up a Goofy, who was Merlin, Daisy the Witch, Donald, who would, would speak to animals, even though he wasn't an animal. Yeah, I know, it was weird. It was a little, it was pretty messy, yeah. And, um, I ultimately canceled it because I grew so dissatisfied with it. I did not like it at all. I just thought I was so terrible, which really happens for a lot of my sex, honestly. Um, after that, I just, I lost confidence in myself to finish fanfics, so I decided that if I created more universes, then I would just simply write out whatever fix I wanted, but only do, like, little scenes, and I called them story bits. I would take, like, one or two scenes and just write them out if I ever felt the inspiration to. And, um, after a while, I guess they got kind of popular for as someone of, as a fanfic writer can get, as a Disney fanfic writer can get. Um, I shared them on fanfiction.net, a live journal, and DeviantArt. And it, it got people's attention. And I was really surprised that the more I wrote, the more people wanted. They would requ request certain universes I had created. And I'd created dozens of them. But the first full length finished one was thanks to my friend who I'll call Lies, because I'm not sure she wants her real name up here. Lies had been my friend for a quite a while. She shared the same love of Disney with me, and she enjoyed my work, and it was one universe she absolutely fell in love with, because she loves pirates. In this universe I created, Minnie was, Minnie Mouse was a, uh, Navy lady. Okay, it's not that simple. But I feel like if I really describe it, I might be here all day, but I'll just try to cut down to the bare facts. In this alternate uni steampunk universe, she joins the NAVY, the Nautical Air Force Victorian Youth, which is pretty much a weird kind of alternate army. Well, there is an ARMY, which is pull out this thing. Anyway, her job is to hunt down pirates. But because she's not that good at it, she remains a low-ranked soldier. Um, she meets Mickey, who is a pirate. They fall in love. They have silly adventures. It's a whole crazy mess. So Elias came to me, and she said, Look, whatever it takes, you need to f actually start this story. You need to make a beginning, middle, and end. I want all of it. I need to have it. Please do this. I will do anything in my power. So I thought about it. And I figured, you know what, why not, just for fun, let's see if I can do this. 
and Lies volunteered to be my beta editor. So what started out as a project I didn't honestly think I'd finish wound up with over 30 chapters with beginning, middle, and end. I was incredibly shocked at how well it was received. I got fan art out of it. I got a club out of it. I, I got so much attention and fans and comments out of it. Even to this day, people are still reading it and leaving me nice things. And I'm like, where are you people coming from? Why are you reading this? But it was such a fun ride, and I was so, so happy to do it because these were characters I loved. And I guess maybe I'm rambling, but after the success of that, I figured, you know, if I did it once, who says I can't do it again? So Lies and I teamed up to make another universe of mine come to life called The Scarlet, which was loosely based on The Scarlet Pimparel. And currently we are doing a th our third project, Grim City, which is an alternate universe about fairy tales with much more dark but also silly edge. We will probably keep doing this until one of us grows sick of it. Probably lies will first. I mean, how in the world does she put up with me? I have no idea. But even as I do this, I still delve into my story bits because I have so many universes and muse can strike at any time. Um, I love writing for them. I love writing for Mickey and Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Clarabelle, Goofy, Horace, Darkwing Duck, Scrooge Duck, everyone, anyone in the Disney universe. I love it so much. Those who are keeping track of their personal life may know that I thought I could try to write an original novel, and I couldn't. I could not handle the stress. I could not handle what was asked of me. That became a very low point for me. It was probably what started me, started the idea to make these videos to distract myself from the inevitable conclusion that I could not write original work. Yet, at the same time, I can't stop writing Disney fanfic. It continues to make me happy. I know it will never really help me get a career or push myself to new limits, but again, it's what makes me happy. And honestly, I may keep doing this until I am old and gray. I don't really see a reason to stop. As long as I get inspiration, I don't see why I should stop, which I think can apply to any art form. Even if you can't make a career out of it, even if it ultimately doesn't go anywhere, sometimes you can't fight the muse. So instead, you should work alongside it. Right now, I'm still currently waiting for Lies to finish up editing the latest chapter of Grim City, and I hope those who read it really enjoy it. I hope I can keep writing fanfic, and I hope I hope that I'll improve on it, of course. So I guess I'm rambling on now again, so I'll finish up here. That's where I write fanfic, that's how I got started, and I'll probably keep doing it for a very long time.